I want to encourage people today on the topic of evangelism and saving souls. We have one job as Christians. Yes, I know there's other jobs, but this is the main job as a Christian. 2 Peter 3.9 says, God is not slow and he is not slack concerning his promise. Rather, he is being long-suffering and patient. Hallelujah. For he wishes that none should perish, but that all should come to that all should come to repentance. God wants every single person to go to heaven, and it's our responsibility as Christians to evangelize, to share the gospel, and to get people from out of hell into heaven. Hallelujah. Jesus commands us in John 14:15, "If you love me, you'll obey my commands." And one of his commands, hallelujah, one of his commands is to make disciples of all nations. Now, you can't make disciples unless you get people saved. So we need to get people saved. Part of getting people saved is showing them the power of the gospel. Romans 1.16 says, For I am not I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is, it is the power of God unto salvation for all who believe. And I want to tell you today, hallelujah, that the gospel is powerful. Mark 16, 15 to 18 says that we shall cast out devils. We shall heal the sick, hallelujah, when we believe in Jesus. And so when we go evangelize, there should be a power that they receive. They shall receive joy, peace, and strength. We are the light and the salt of the world. A lot of people in this world are depressed. A lot of people in this world are struggling. We can be their joy. We can be their peace because we carry Jesus on the inside of us. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you today with this short video to go get more souls. Hallelujah. And if you're not saved, let me quickly tell you the gospel. Jesus loves you so much that he died for you. He left heaven to die for you. He was raised three days later, resurrected from the dead. Hallelujah. When he died on the cross, which is where, where he died on the cross, if you didn't know that, he took away sickness. He took away depression. He took away financial issues. He took away relationship issues. Every issue that represents an issue in your life, he took that on the cross for you because he loves you. The Bible says that he was so brutally beaten that he was disfigured and not recognizable as human. Jesus did that for you because he loves you. Hallelujah. And so if you're not saved, or if you honestly said that if you put your head on the pillow tonight and you don't know where you're going if you were not to wake up, I want you to give your life to Christ. I'm boldly compelling you to give your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a simple dedication to make Jesus Lord and to believe that he was raised from the dead and died for you. Hallelujah. And then the Bible says that you have to repent. Repent means to turn away from sin. The Bible says that sin is the price, sorry, the, that the price to go to hell is sin. And the Bible says that all have sinned. And so we have to walk away from sin, make Jesus Lord. You confess him as Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. That's how to get saved. So if that's you, I want you to pray out loud this prayer that I'm going to pray with you. Now, it's not the prayer that saves you. It's the Romans 10, 9 that says these things. And so this prayer is to just speak those things out to show Jesus that you are serious. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I confess Jesus as Lord. I believe in my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead. I ask for forgiveness for all my sins. I thank you that you wash me clean from all sin, from all wrongdoing in Jesus name. I make you Lord of my life. I turn my back on sin and I walk completely to you, Jesus. 
I walk completely to you. I thank you that I am saved. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if towards the end I prayed a little too fast, you can just go back and pause the video at each point and pray that prayer. And if you gave your life to Jesus today, I want you to write down in the comments, I got saved. Now, if you're already saved, go find more souls and get them saved. Disciple them. Hallelujah. And disciple those people who are already saved so that they can get more souls. Our job as Christians, our primary job, is to get people out of hell and into heaven. Yes, it's nice to see people healed and delivered. I'm all for that. But what use is it to have people healed and delivered if they're not going to heaven? Get people healed and delivered and use that to show them that Jesus is real. Hallelujah. God bless you. Like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, go get more souls. Hallelujah.